Yesterday on America CBS News when reporting about the Russia-Ukraine conflict, here's what this ignoramus said. But this isn't a place, with all due respect, um, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan that has seen conflict raging for decades. You know, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European, I have to choose those words carefully too. We're uncivilized. What? Hang on a minute, when you call Iraq and Afghanistan uncivilized, you are calling the Muslims uncivilized. Let's analyze this for one second. Okay. Oh, oh, no. 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 Before the US involvement in Iraq, the literacy rate was 95%. Yes, very civilized. And then after your uncivilized interference, it became 20%. Likewise, before the US, there was no, yes, no suicide attack in Iraq. This was reported by Robert Pape. According to the Economist's Intelligence Unit, the Iraqi welfare state was among the most comprehensive and generous in the Arab world. 92% of the people had safe drinking water. 93% of them enjoyed free healthcare. That was of course until you civilized folk came over and uncivilized us. But you know what? Let's see the shoe on the other foot. Let's see how civilized to you are. You allowed groups like ISIS to form. ISIL is a direct outgrowth of Al Qaeda in Iraq that grew out of our invasion. Supported them and armed them according to your own sources. And then you got the gall to call us uncivilized? According to a 2014 Senate report highlighting the torture conducted by the CIA, prisoners were fed food through their anus, chained to walls until they died, case and point Gul Rahman. Detainees were stripped and then they were dragged, punched and kicked. That's not all. They were put in makeshift coffins for days. Civilized? More like barbaric and disgusting. There's reports of soldiers urinating on the dead bodies of Afghans, cutting fingers off the deceased and keeping them as trophies. Are these actions of civilized people or of sick individuals. And then the icing on the cake, preaching human rights to the nations that you are supplying weapons to. And then this absolute tool had the gall to laugh it off like only someone irrational would get offended. A relatively civilized, uh, relatively European, I have to choose those words carefully too. Nah mate, this is the exact problem that Edward Said highlighted in his book Orientalism. This dehumanizing and otherizing makes it suddenly okay for you to kill millions. And this is exactly what happened in these countries that you mentioned. And oh yeah, how is it that at uncivilized Afghanistan in their kurta pajama living in mountains were able to come toe to toe with the greatest superpower for 20 years and then send them packing with their tail between their legs. I hope I've put things in context. I told you a justice cap. <laughs> <laughs> so the next time you make a blunder like this, apologize, humble yourself and learn about the average people on the street and ask them what gives them strength and they will tell you it is Islam. And I'm going to link a free copy of the Quran in the description and I would like you and people like you to read it. I'm going to leave it there guys. Don't forget to support me on Patreon. I want to start uploading more videos and better quality videos. I'll see you guys later inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.